Hello folks, welcome to Yale Appliance. Today we're in our Hanover location and we're doing a live demonstration on our 48 inch Fisher Peichel range. Now this is a fantastic range which has two ovens, four gas burners and four induction cooking zones. So I'm gonna utilize all the different um, parts and pieces of this range and really demonstrate the, the beauty and versatility of it. Um, the first thing I've done here is uh, started the pasta water. Uh, the four burners here that we have are high powered. The one on the bottom left is a 23,500 BTU burner, and the rest are 18,500 BTU burners. So uh, we have our pasta water going, um, and I started it a couple minutes ago, and we already have uh, some bubbles forming, so we should get to a rapid boil in no time at all. Um, the next thing I'm going to do in the interest of time is get our roast going. So the beauty of this fisher Pikel range is that you have a guided cooking program in it. Um, you also get this super ergonomic um, panel that you can now control with ease. It's angled up. And then to actually make it um, flush, you can just hit that button and it will go right back into place and you can control it that way. But I do like the fact that it angles up because it's not as um, straining on your back. So in order to program this, what we're going to do is use the guided cooking mode and select food type. And we're going to go to the auto program and I'm going to select beef. We are doing a roast beef today using the cooking probe. So I select the beef roast. It's recommending that I use the probe for this recipe, which um, was the plan all along to place the beef on a broiler pan or some sort of pan where your meat is elevated so the pan can catch the drippings. So we have that all ready to go. Now I'm going to get the beef set up with the probe. And then you can also select your desired internal temperature. So what uh, Fisher Peichel does is it gives you an option to either set the internal temperature or use the recommended temperatures here that they have associated with your um, internal temps, such as medium at 129, medium rare at 118 degrees. So we're gonna go with medium rare and I'll confirm that. So what the oven now is automatically doing is going into a sear phase for the first 20 minutes and then it'll drop down to a regular uh, cooking temperature, either convection 350 or 375, to then bring the um, rest of the meat up to temperature. So I'm going to now insert the probe into our roast. And as you can see, I have it placed on top of a wire rack with some roasting vegetables underneath as well. And if anybody's curious, I have crusted the roast in um, a butter, garlic, onion, and fresh herb crust. And then the roasting vegetables underneath, I have some onions, some carrots, some fresh herbs, and some roasting potatoes. And then I did place parchment paper underneath um, to help with cleanup. All right, so um, one thing to remember with the, uh, automatic program in the roasting mode is that there is no preheat required for this. So the oven is going to be cold when you place your meat inside. And now we plug our probe in, close the oven door and we confirm. And we have placed the um, meat on the recommended rack. And the oven, after the 20 minutes of searing, will drop the temp to 320 degrees. So now we can just set it and forget it. Another great feature this oven has is, in addition to the second oven over here, is it also has an air fry mode, which are, we are going to use today to make our chicken wings. Whenever you're using an air fry mode, I do recommend um, uh, using a pan such as a broiler pan, or you can even purchase air fry pans, which basically elevate your proteins or 
potatoes, whatever you might be making to allow for air circulation. So we are just using a standard broiler pan. You also want to make sure everything is spaced out evenly. And that will just ensure that again, you're getting a nice crispy exterior and making sure the air circulates fully all the way around um, whatever it is you might be air frying. So I have actually, let's set our air fry temp here. Um, up to, yeah, we have it set 400 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and place our chicken wings right in the oven and we will let this do its thing. Now um, with the smaller oven, another thing to remember, there is a fan in there, but it is not a true convection fan. So the fan is on and it's circulating the air but it's not true convection like you get in the larger oven, which means that you have a heating element wrapped around the fan that then gives you three different cooking, um, temp uh, cooking areas or three different sources of heat. You have bottom heat, top heat, and then convection heat coming from the fan. In the smaller oven, you just have the two sources of heat, which is top heat, bottom heat, and the um, convection, which is just blowing the air through the cavity. Um, all right, so we'll let those items cook and we'll check on our uh, air fried chicken in just a couple minutes. Meanwhile, let's move on to our um, range over here. So we have our 23,500 BTU burner that's already gotten our pasta water to a boil. That's great, um, but we are gonna wait on the pasta for just a couple minutes. Let's move on to our induction cooktop. So there's a couple of really cool features here. Um, one is uh, the fact that you can bridge both the back and the front burner. If you have a griddle pan or a grill pan that is um, larger in terms of the capacity, you can use that right on um, both as a bridged as a bridged burner. I'm just going to use the bottom burner here and I'm going to go ahead and saute right in this pan. And this is just taking up the space of one burner, so we don't need to bridge them. But I have it set to a medium temperature. And one thing to remember when you're cooking with induction is to um, always have something in the pan as you're starting to cook. The reason for that is it will conduct the heat very, very quickly. And you don't want to scorch or burn the bottom of your pan. So unlike with gas um, burners where you can preheat the pan, um, you want to definitely have something, either oil or fat or liquid in the pan um, when you start cooking. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our shallots into the pan. And another thing, if you are um, getting familiar with induction, is that you're not, you're gonna change your style of cooking just slightly. So instead of doing a lot of shaking and moving, which you would on a gas range or a gas cooktop, we're not going to um, do that on induction. Now I'm going to actually use our power um, mode here to get the water boiling for our poached eggs. So when you set the power boiler, you actually go to the P um, little designation here. And what that does is, I don't know if you can zoom in, but you can actually already see some bubbles starting to form. Um, and that like, it's incredible how quickly that induction reacts with the water. So the power boost will give you basically 10 minutes of power and then it'll drop the temperature down and you do have to then manually select the temperature that you want that at. So there we go. Oh, just have to reset that. Sorry about that. All right, great. So we'll let that come to a boil and we have our, we have our salad, shallot sauteing here. Again, really quick um, for everything on induction. You can make a meal in just a matter of minutes and that's why I really love cooking with induction. You have such precision, such control um, and you get, uh, great quality food and a fraction of time. I also enjoy searing on induction because you can get those really high temperatures. 
you just have to make sure you have induction compatible pans. Most stainless steel will work. Some, um, some all clad won't, but you just have to make sure um, that it's mag magnetic. So just stick a magnet on the bottom and you should be good to go. A lot of your cast iron pans will work and uh, your Le Creuset's and stoves, all your Dutch ovens should work as well. So this is on temperature setting number seven. I'm actually gonna drop it down because we're conducting quite a good amount of heat here and we can bring it down to a lighter saute, which is absolutely fine. And then I'm also going to use my gas burner here, the 18,500 BTU burner. I want to show you guys that you have a dual stacked burner over here, which means that you have a higher port on top for the larger flame when you want a high temperature. So you can see the flames that are larger are going to be high. And then when I drop it down to a simmer, the heat source is actually coming from the bottom. There's a lower port there where the flames are coming out of. So that's gonna be for your lower temperature, your simmering, your holding um, and things of that nature. So um, you do have dual stack burners and that's available on all four of the burners there. So that's actually pretty cool um, that you have that capability because some uh, manufacturers only uh, limit how many burners allow for that. And um, some, you know, have basically different setups. So this is pretty cool that you can get it on all four burners. So let's just check here. We have um, some good um, heat coming off of the boiling water. So we'll just give that a couple more minutes, but we should be good to go. And we'll poach some eggs in there as well. Now, remember, if you are interested in buying a pro range, download um, our pro range buying guide. You'll see a link to that in the comment section. And if you have any questions about what we're doing here today or uh, pro range cooking uh, in general, just uh, drop, a uh, drop a question in our comment section and we'll be answer able to answer that live right here as well. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just going to finish uh, up our, our recipe here. So we have some sauteed mushrooms. I'm just gonna season up lightly. We have our asparagus and our shallots here as well. And I'm gonna add a little white wine to the pan. Um, I really enjoy actually using the knobs here for the induction because the reaction is immediate. You don't have to um, worry too much with the sensor touch controls. It's all uh, right there in the knob, which actually makes the reaction in the pan much quicker as well. So that's definitely um, something unique to this brand. All right, um, another thing to note about the cooking surface here is um, with the cast iron grates, um, I'll show you after, but the grommets on the bottom are actually made of brass, the rubber grommets, so they don't come off or slide off when you need to remove the cast iron grates to clean underneath, which can be annoying because I have def definitely lost a few in the past with other ranges. So the fact that those are on there is is uh, is also a great feature. It's the, a great detail, actually. Um, also, the surface is porcelain enameled, which is great for cleanup as well. Um, also notice the backlit knobs over here. So when the knob is red, that means that part of the range is hot. And if the knob is just highlighted in this sort of blue color, that just means that the range is on. Um, so just a couple things to note there. Um, also the um, knobs are made of titanium, the knobs and the bezels. So they are extremely durable. Um, and um, yeah, just um, what else do we have here? Just really a great sturdy, sturdy cooking um, surface here. You have everything. I mean, this is really the best of everything. The fact that you can cook with induction, cook with gas. A lot of people have a hard time trying to decide between one or the other. 
with this range, you don't have to. You have a little bit of everything. Um, we have the four induction cooking zones. So we have our boil here, which I'm actually going to drop down to a light simmer. And I'll start to poach my eggs in there as well. Um, and for my gas um, cooktop here, I am going to now turn this down to a low temperature and we'll just allow those mushrooms to um, saute on a light, light mode. All right. Um, in terms of the uh, cooktop again for the induction again easy cleanup you can even use parchment paper which is something i always show with induction i didn't bring any with me today but in the future you, you know if you ever wanted to make cleanup even easier you can place a piece of parchment paper down and cook through that which is um in my opinion, a really great way uh, to utilize the induction mode and also make cleanup a lot easier. Um, so I'm just dropping my eggs into the low simmering water to poach them. And that, that's gonna be part of our pasta dish we have cooking up here. So let's just separate those. All right, so again, if you have any questions, please send them in. Be happy to answer them uh, for you live here. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the ovens. We have our small oven, which I mentioned before, no true convection in that, but we do have every other mode available that you would have in this oven available here, including the air fry mode. Also, no self-clean is available in the smaller oven, um, but you do have self-clean in the larger oven. Um, in the larger oven, the rolling racks that you have in there, the telescopic racks, can hold up to 32 pounds, and it does come with two rolling racks. So that's a really great um, incentive as well. And then the side rails in the, um, in the larger oven are por porcelain enameled as well, which means that you can actually leave those in when you are using your self-clean mode. But the stainless steel ones, uh, unfortunately, cannot be left in. You would have to remove those if one of your ovens came with stainless steel. Um, so we are using the roast mode, which means no preheating is required. Um, and we can take a peek here. We do have the light on, which means we can take a little peek to see what's happening. And you can definitely see uh, some color developing on the protein, which is wonderful. And um, we mentioned the guided cooking programs as well. So that's what we are utilizing today is the guided cooking mode. And um, in addition to that, there are a few um, great, uh, it's a variety of uh, pre-programmed recipes in there that you can use as well. So it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to prepare it and what it's gonna look like. There is visual um, there too, they, they do include pictures. Um, the broiler mode is actually pretty amazing. We have um, four different, sorry, 11 different modes in the broiler mode. So I think that um, that's pretty impressive because most ranges will only have uh, high, medium, or high, medium, and low. So that's really uh, impressive to be able to have. 11 different broiler modes. All right, folks. So if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send those questions into our comment section and I would be happy to answer them. All right. And I am going to go ahead and add in some cream to our sauce here as well as um, some fresh herbs. So this is just some heavy cream. It's going to give some body to our sauce. And then I'll put some fresh tarragon in here as well. And some lime, uh, sorry, lemon zest. And what I'm gonna do here with our poached eggs is I'm going to transfer those to some warm water to hold them. And there we go. And now you have um, the option to make a few more poached eggs if you like. And I'm just going to finish up our sauce and let's drop our pasta in the pasta water as well. All right, so our pasta water is boiling. Make sure it's nice and seasoned. 
and we'll drop in our fresh pasta. The great thing about using something like fresh pasta is that it cooks in just a matter of minutes. So let's go ahead and drop that in. So it'll just be about two or three minutes to cook that. And then we'll put them straight into our sauce. All right, and folks, please keep the questions coming. Um, we'd love to answer your questions here live. This range, it really is fantastic. I'm having a great time just like going from one side, from one side of the um, induction cooking to the gas. I, I can definitely accomplish a lot here. And I bet you could do the same at home. This is great for entertaining. Um, great for, you know, when you have guests come over, you can definitely serve a crowd with this sort of setup. All right, so let's get some seasoning in here. And we're gonna check on our chicken as well. So let's season this up, make sure our sauce is good to go. And we'll check on our chicken and uh, everything is really coming together nicely. And don't forget, if you need more information, download our Pro Cooking Buying Guide. Mm. That came out perfect. Excellent. All right, let's check on our chicken wings. All right, they are looking good, nice and roasty toasty. So I will just turn those. Great, and that you do want to flip the wings halfway through the cooking process, um, just to make sure that they are super even. And one thing I have noticed with the air fry mode is that it's definitely not going to be exactly like a tabletop air fryer. So just, you know, factor that in mind. Essentially what air fry is doing is using um, a high powered fan. Oops, lost one. Just get rid of that. And um, a little bit of top heat. So that is uh, how you get that super crispy texture. And I might actually increase our heat just a little bit. Let's see how we can do that. All right, so um, options, change function. Let's go to air fry. And, hmm, all right. Um, I will have to figure out how that. Ah, thank you, Brad. <laughs> thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. My bad. <laughs> all right. Perfect. So, yeah, there we go. Let's just increase the heat slightly there. All right, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, and it looks like our pasta is also just about cooked, so we'll go ahead and place that into the pan. One moment, all right. Oh yeah, this needs another minute or so. Sorry about that, but let's just make sure that it's cooking nice and evenly. All right, looking good, all right. So remember folks, Pro Cooking Buying Guide, make sure to download that for more information. And if you'd like to come into one of our showrooms, we have three different showrooms. We have one in Hanover, here where we're working today. We have one in Framingham and we have one in Dorchester. So make sure you check us out. You can go on to our website and uh, make an appointment with a salesperson. And um, I will also be offering virtual one-on-one -on -one appointments uh, to help guide you in your appliance uh, buying process. If you have any specific questions about anything you've purchased, I'm happy to help you use that um, with ease at home as well. So um, yeah, just a few things that uh, Yale does to make your customer experience the best. 
All right, so it looks like now our pasta is good to go. So we'll go ahead and drop this straight into our sauce. So we'll just move that here and then actually use the simmer to keep the sauce warm. So we'll bring it all the way down to a simmer and we'll place our noodles straight in. And we'll have um, our little pasta dish all ready to go. Now this is definitely a great springtime dish. Um, we'll, if anybody would like the recipe, drop us a line and uh, we'll be able to email that to you. And um, of course, anything else you'd like a recipe for, I'm happy to share that as well. So this is just a really great, quick, easy pasta. Um, I don't serve it with any meat, so it's a, it's a great vegetarian dish. Um, it's just sauteed asparagus with a little cream, shallot, white wine, and some lemon zest. And then uh, I'm going to top it with the poached egg as well. All right, so let's turn this off. Off, we have this on a simmer. And I'm going to finish this off with a little squeeze of lemon. Perfect. And then just a little bit of cheese as well because cheese makes everything better. <laughs> there we go. And this is just grated Parmesan cheese. All right, so folks, again, if you have any questions, please send them through. And uh, yeah, we'll check on our roast and our air fried chicken wings as well, right after I plate this up for you. Okay, here we go. So another great thing about having induction is that you can use that cooking service. It's not going to be directly hot. What's happening is the, uh, the residual heat from the pan will keep that hot, but you can still use it. And I'm gonna use it right now to plate up my pasta. So um, you can utilize that as a working surface as well. So we'll just go ahead and pop our asparagus pasta in here. And we'll top it with our poached eggs and dinner is ready. There we go. All right, so one, and you can obviously put more eggs to your liking. I just did two for the demonstration today. But there we have a gorgeous spring pasta with asparagus, poached eggs, and a shallot cream lemon sauce which was made in just a matter of minutes on our induction cooktop. All right, so let's now check um, to see our roast. So it is now letting me know that we're at 61 degrees internally for our roast, which is great. We're on the right track. Um, we are aiming for 118 degrees. So we're gonna just pop the oven door open to see the progress. And we can take a look right in there and see we do have some great um, uh, color uh, charring and caramelization on the outside and our vegetables are roasting as well. So, uh, all right. I'm going to throw the um, broccolini in there as well and we'll get that cooking along with our roast. So I'll just move this right here. We can use this to season and just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and we'll, whoopsies, and we'll pop that right in and then we'll check on our chicken wings as well. All right, let's pop that right in. All right, great. So let's take a peek now. We are, um, yeah, we did increase the temperature so you can see the oven temperature is going higher up and we'll pop the oven door open and we're definitely getting a nice rendering of um, the chicken fat there. So those are, are looking great. So we'll just give those a couple of more minutes as well. So 
if you have any questions, please send them through into the comments section. And um, yeah, definitely let us know what you think. If you're um, cur curious about any other ranges that we have, or if you're curious about induction, I'm happy to talk through any of that. And uh, just gonna plate up our mushrooms here. All right, so we'll just place those in the pan. So we have our cooked food here ready to go. You can turn that off. And I'll pull the wings in like five minutes time. Um, so other than that, let's uh, just kind of go through our points again here. We have our 48 inch pro range. Now, um, something with the controls here, the 48 pro range will come with both the knobs and the interactive uh, screen. If you're going for a 30 or a 36, you will only get the screen, no knobs. Um, let's see. We also have, um, oh, the convection system is actually a very unique engineering. What they offer with their convection system is called a reverse pull. So normally when you open an oven and you feel that big burst of heat straight in your face with standard convection systems, um, that can be awkward, uncomfortable, and dangerous sometimes because it's extremely hot, especially if you're cooking high temperatured foods. So with uh, Fisher Paykel, they've created something or engineered something called the reverse convection. So what it's doing or reverse pull. So it's pulling the air back in and then it's there's a little box in the back which then sends the air out through the sides. So um, quite ac actually uh, effective and um, something unique to Fisher Paykel. And uh, I, I think it's actually nice when you open the oven door and you don't get the blast of heat straight in your face. So definitely something unique with this uh, particular brand. Um, so the total capacity here um, for your oven, you have 4.8 cubic feet in the larger oven, and then you have 2.1 cubic feet in the smaller oven. Um, so in total, that is 6.9 cubic feet. Um, and we did mention you can fit large roasts in here, up to 32 pounds on the rolling telescopic racks, which is pretty impressive. And um, we have 15 oven functions um, going from your standard roast, standard bake, convection bake, um, when you are in your roast mode, all the, the three elements, the top, the bottom, and the convection are going on. However, if you wanted to do a simpler mode like a straight bake or convection bake, you have that option as well. You can use a pizza mode, um, which gives you bottom heat with the convection. Um, there's a lot you can do in terms of baking and, and a lot you have in terms of baking options. Um, yeah, definitely quite extensive in their um, in their arrangement of different cooking options. Um, let's check on our wings again. It looks like the, they are crisping up really nicely. Let me grab my tongs here. All right. So the oven now is up to 435 degrees, which is great. So we're really getting a nice crispy exterior. They look fantastic. And I will uh, pull these in just a couple minutes, but I wanna make sure to get it nice and crisp all over. But um, yeah, this is essentially an air fry, but in your oven. Um, it will probably take a few extra minutes than it would in a tabletop air fryer. However, you have increased capacity because in a tabletop air fryer, you don't have that much space to cook. You're limited with either one rack or one small little um, uh, device. So here you have two uh, racks that you can use and a larger oven cavity than you would with a tabletop air fryer device. So, yep. All right. Excellent. 
Um, all right, and uh, looks like our roast is also coming along, and that's probably going to take at least another 20 minutes to come to temp, but I did want to make sure I did show you the ability to cook with the probe and the ability to program your oven um, with those guided cooking functions as well. Um, so we'll just give a few more minutes for the, the wings to cook and uh, help answer any remaining questions you might have as well. Um, so we talked about the high powered burners in terms of the power output of your induction it can deliver up to uh 3700 watts um, which is pretty powerful in terms of induction cooking also um, when you are using power boost um, a lot of times with other in induction manufacturers when you're stealing power that means you will not be able to get as much power on other burners. You're basically weakening the other burners, but that's not the case here. The power boost will give you power, but you can also retain that same power um, that you might have set the other burners to. Um, and uh, again, you know, beautiful, beautifully designed. I love that the uh, brass grommets are on the bottom of the cast iron grates, and I can take a look underneath now. So there you have it, um, the little grommets on the bottom will stay in place when you lift up your grates to clean them. And it definitely makes things a lot easier. All right, great. We have our dual stacked burners here as well for high temperature, high powered searing, as well as low temperature simmering and holding. Um, and you can obviously hold on the uh, induction as well. All right, let's pop these wings out. I think we are good to go for our air fry wings. All right, beautiful, nice and crispy. They're looking great. All right, are you good? You got a zoom there? Okay, perfect. All right, so air fryer wings done in the small oven. Uh, the larger oven, we're using our probe to cook our roast and that'll just be a few more minutes. And um, induction and gas. So extremely versatile pro range here. You have the best of the best. Um, I had a lot of fun using this actually. I love that everything is right here, compact in one place. Um, the fact that you have the guided cooking is phenomenal. It's a great add-on feature um, and can definitely hold your hand through the cooking process. If you're not comfortable co cooking certain proteins, it definitely helps and ensures perfect results every single time. And um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, a, this is definitely a, a fun appliance to use and uh, obviously it delivers in quality as well. So download our Pro Cooking Buying Guide. If you haven't done so already, you'll see a link for that in the comment section. And if you have any other questions, definitely send them through to us. You can drop it in the comment section and we can answer, answer it at a later time or email you with the response. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today and uh, stay tuned for our next live demonstration. We'll have, we'll have a bunch more coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much. And this is uh, Chef Saba signing off from Yale Appliance in Hanover.